Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. The crazy because I have some sanity right now and I don't need to put on lip gloss when I start the video like I always do, right? And I don't know why I'm holding this right now. That's, yeah, the craziness. Anyway, <laughs> troll because I consider myself a troll, a cute troll when I put on face paint, but a troll nonetheless. This video is my nighttime skincare routine when I wear makeup. The only difference will be is when I don't wear makeup. <laughs> so it's only one step different <laughs> than when I don't wear makeup. And so the first step is I take a piece of tissue or paper towel, wipe off my lip color. And yes, I'm rough on my skin. I am. That's the very first thing I do. Isn't I lovely? The second thing I do is remove my makeup. Okay. I use Neutrogena. Oh. <laughs> Neutrogena makeup white cleansing cloths. I know, I know, I know. We're not supposed to be using wipes to wipe our face. I said in a previous video, I think the one that's uploaded a few days or a couple days before this one, when I did this look, because <laughs> it's the same day. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I am just acting delirious. <laughs> I mean, let me just bring it down. Okay, so <laughs> I hate the feel of um, cleansing balms and oils seeping into my eyes because this is just a really weird feeling. I cannot stand it. And every time I've tried um, like the Clinique cleansing balm or the cleansing oil and it's like you soak the pad and you press it and hold it on your eyes, it would seep into my eyes. Or if it was like the cleansing water, it, I just... Or the balm and you just put on and, you know, gently rub your eyes. I just hate that feeling of it seeping into my eyes. And so I would never hold it long enough for it to seep. I mean, for it to break down my eye makeup. And so then I would end up rubbing anyway. And I'm like, if I'm going to rub, I'm going to use a makeup wipe remover. So that's what I do. Sometimes I use one. Sometimes I use... Am I shaking the camera? Sometimes I use one, sometimes I use two. It just depends on if I'm satisfied with um, eye makeup removal because I do wash my face afterwards. And so I'm not concerned about my face. I'm just concerned about the eye makeup. Well, primarily concerned with eye makeup. And so I start on one end. I do my brow first. And then I do my other brow. This one is feeling kind of dry. And <laughs> I know, I know, like you can, you can leave comments, like don't use wipes, you can, but if this is going to like turn your stomach, then don't watch. And I do, I don't press hard, but I understand that it's still pressing on my lid and it's still dragging my lid. And so I am happy with how this takes off my eye color. Where it gets tricky for me, and I do one eye at a time. Where it gets tricky for me is I do have under eye bags. Like you see it right here. You see it moving already. It's trying to get off the eyeliner. And I am barely putting pressure on here. But it's still... Like I'm not aggressive with it, but I still know it's not a good thing. And also I did wear mascara. And I constantly change where my finger is. So that I can see when it's no longer removing makeup because then I know the makeup is off. And also I have um, an inner rim liner on so I'm gently you know tapping on my waterline to get that off and that right here is what just came off of my waterline if you can see that color. And then I go up underneath because I also have liner on my upper <laughs> and this just came off of my um, upper inner rim and also mascara from on my top lashes and so that's what this is and so I'm not aggressive with it however I know I used to be more aggressive with it till I realized you know I'd already ha I already have wrinkles I already have bags and so let me be as gentle as possible with this makeup removing technique that I shouldn't be doing anyway and then I'll come back on top make sure the liner from up there is off and a little bit more came off and so I just keep moving where my finger is so I can 
um, see when it's clear. And so this is what I just did. And so it's practically clear. So then I'll move over to the other eye. And so I have this whole side <laughs> for the other eye. And so I just gently wipe. And I've seen people that are like, Shh. and I've been guilty of that before. So this is the eye makeup. I've seen people like really go in. I don't want to make my bags and wrinkles worse. And so I try to be as gentle as possible. Now this is mascara and eyeliner. This is black down here. And so again, I come up underneath. This wipe feels like it's getting dry. Let me switch spots. A clean spot. So this is clean. It, this feels like it's waterproof mascara, but it's not. So this is the mascara coming off. Move to a clean spot. Go under my lower lash line. Get my lashes and also my waterline. And that's what came off of there. Move my finger again to a clean spot. <laughs> And I'm also gentle with this too because I don't want to be rubbing this on my eyeball either. And so that little bit came, looks like a little bit in person, but on camera I know it looks like a lot. So I'm just going to constantly do this. I think I'm going to get another wipe because this one is feeling dry. Or not. Let me see if I can get this last little bit off. And I got really quiet. So yeah, I know you're not supposed to do this. Yes, I do do this. Oh, here's a wet spot. Okay, let's see. Am I all done now with this eye makeup? Okay, so the eye makeup is off. So I'll flip it and try and find a spot that doesn't have... Oh, this is dry. All right, I'm going to pull out another white. I have not had these that long. And I know I can just turn it upside down so that way the the fluid will seep to the top. And then I'll just, and I am kind of rough with my face. <laughs> well, like my forehead. Well, yeah, I guess all over. <laughs> I try to be gentle like underneath my eyes. I do. And I try to go one way with my eyes like this. I, I don't go back and forth. Because I do have the bags and wrinkles that I don't want to get worse. And even for my cheek area, I usually try to go this way. And I have to make sure I get around my nose, my chin area. So I try to sweep, well not sweep, I try to wipe upward and out. That's what I try to remember to do. And not that, you know, there is powder there. There's nothing under here, but I did put powder under my chin today. Because it is right here. <laughs> and so this is how I remove my makeup. I wash my face in the shower. And so I brung over here to show you what I rotate through depending on how my skin is feeling um if i have if i've worn makeup that day i will either use the saint ives gentle soothing oatmeal scrub and mask or i will use um the drunk elephant peaky bar is this the peaky or the juju i'll write it below i might have it typed below this is an exfoliating um soap as well as this is gently exfoliating so I alternate between one of these two on days when I wear makeup or just on days that my face is just feeling grimy or I've been out hiking or I've been sweaty. I'll use one of those. If my skin is feeling okay or I don't feel like there's any extra grime or anything, then I will use the Boshia or Boshia detoxifying black cleanser. So I alternate between these three cleansers. So I'm going to wash my face. I'm not going to take you in the restroom with me. <laughs> and... When you see me, I'll be ready to get into the rest of the process, which I'm going to use the Lenovo Facial Steamer and then do other stuff. And so you'll, it'll, I'll be videoing in bits and pieces, but I'll just cut parts out so it doesn't 
He's like, you don't need to see me steam for 10 minutes and that sort of thing. And so, and I'm wondering if I'm going to do a mask tonight. I don't think I'm going to do a mask tonight, but it's been a while since I did one, but I'm not. <laughs> so you guys will see me in five, four, three, two. Hey YouTube, welcome back to TCT and the Quaker Troll Nation of YouTube. I didn't need to say that. <laughs> I just washed my face. And I'm going to use this steamer, Lenovo, um, from on Amazon. The on and off switches on the front. You take off, you take out the water reservoir. Turn it upside down. Unscrew it. Put 50 milliliters of water in it. It's supposed to be distilled water. The store did not have it, so I've been using filtered water. And I fill it all the way up. And it does say about 50 milliliters, which it was. So it is like up to here. And there's a fill line here, which really doesn't mean much. But when you um, turn this back upside down and you put it in, this top part pushes down. And that's how the water gets into the heating element at the bottom. So you put this back in. Then you turn it on. And it says wait like 60 seconds. And then the blue light in here did come on when I turned it on. So it takes about 60 seconds for it to heat up. And so we're going to let it heat up. And I'm not going to sit here the entire 10 minutes doing a video. And after the steaming is done, then I'll go through the rest of my um, PM skincare routine. So we're still waiting. Come on, darling. I'm going to edit some of this out. I should. But then, no, for those of you who want to really see how long this takes. <laughs> hmm. So, I'm back to my trollness, as you see. No face paint on. Freshly washed skin. No product or anything on my face. I can hear it. I know you guys probably can't. But I hear the water heating. And so I'm just going to wait till you guys can see the steam and then I will come back after it's done steaming. Where after I'm done steaming my face. You see some of the steam coming out and I can hear it. It sounds like it's gurgling. I'm trying to get it where you can see it because I can see it. But no, it's not going to, you can't see it. So you just put the steam in your face. Uh... Mmm, it feels so good. I wish you guys could see the steam. And then I just move my face around. I'll, you know, sit here for a little bit. Move it around. We'll move my face around. Mmm. It does not smell like plastic. When you first get it, it does say to run it through like two or three cycles. And it automatically shuts off after 10 minutes. And when you do fill it with 50 milliliters of water, um, which is a little less than a quarter cup of water is done steaming like the steam is gone in 10 minutes so it has an automatic shut off to stop heating the water but you still have to physically push this down to turn off the off switch and so mm, yeah I'll be back again mm. Did you miss me? I feel so relaxed. Okay, so the steaming is done. Next, I'm going to use the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Jelly Pill. It's the two step, one step, and then you wait two minutes, and then the second step. I did try, I ordered a five treatment box of the extra strength, and it was way too strong. My face was so red and irritated. So you pull this out, you tear it open, you take the pad out, and it is moist, and you rub this all over your face. Not directly under your eyes, though. Rub this all over your face. And depending on if your skin is already irritated or if you have, like, breakouts, it may sting. Like right here is a dry patch from when I wore my scarf on my face because my masks haven't come in yet. Like that irritates it. 
Um, my skin does get a little red with this. This is the active pad. It says exfoliate and smooth. I do not use this when I do one of the Peter Thomas Roth masks. If I know I'm going to use one of those, I actually I skip this step. And you do bring it down, you know, on your neck. Well, at least under your chin. Some people do their neck too. I don't have issues with my neck. It's just like this right here. So I have been taking products down there. And my face is starting to tingle, which I don't like. <laughs> but it is exfoliating and it is smoothing. And I did just steam and so like my skin is primed for treatments and things like that. I will put the link to the, the steamer I have down below and I will list all of these products down below. And it says to do this until it's dry and it's feeling about dry, so I'm gonna stop. And you wait two minutes, let it do its work. And then you go in with step number two because my face is feeling irritated. <laughs> more so than when I used this the last time. And you know what, I think it might be because I washed my face with the Drunk Elephant Juju Bar, which is an exfoliating soap. And I think because that exfoliated my face and also using the steam that keeps everything open, I think this is just a little too much right now. So I'm gonna go up with number two, tear it open, take the pad out. And as soon as you start using this it does calm your skin down. Like the tingling goes away immediately. This side says anti-aging neutralizer. So it does neutralize um, the chemicals in the first pad. And so this actually feels soothing. It's not irritating at all. Where my face was feeling irritated, which is where you can see where my redness came out. It soothes all of that down and it actually feels really good. My skin can only tolerate this every other day. And I admit that I missed uh, maybe like three days. And I did order the 10, um, I forget how many treatments is in it, but you can find it on Sephora. And if you're a rogue, I always say rouge. No, I always say rogue and other people say rouge. And so whichever, however you pronounce it, if you want to get these during the sale, you know, have at it. Or they do have, I think, a five treatment box just so you can see how your skin reacts to it. And then wait for the next 20% off sale if you're a rouge or a rogue to actually buy the larger quantity box. There's a lot of reviews on YouTube about this, these pills, dating back like years. I just found out about this guy and his brand. <laughs> and you're supposed to do this until you use it up too. Some people take it all the way down here, their decollete and the back of their neck. And I'm just like, who sees the back of your neck? Well, I got, well, <laughs> depends on some of your uh, intimate preferences, I guess. I don't know why my mind went there. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, yeah. Anyway, we're not gonna. <laughs> And so, <laughs> the next, depending on how my face feels, how my skin feels, if I just want to be more soothed and more pampered, I will use the Peter Thomas Roth 24K Gold Mask, Pure Luxury Lift and Firm Mask. This feels so soothing, and when you take it off, your face has this nice glow. Some people are saying, you know, if, you, if you're going out for the night, just take a little bit, rub it onto your skin. I'm like, this is too much to be putting on my body. But this is very relaxing and soothing on my face, and when I take it off, it's just like, oh, my skin is just so soft and supple, feels good. If my skin is feeling grungy, or I'm feeling like it's, wanting to be clogged <laughs> or just one of them days when your skin is just like eh, it's just not quite right i will use the peter thomas roth irish more mud purifying black mask and i last used this i think last week it was like a sweaty day or something and i'm just like you know what let me just clear all of whatever's on here off so that's when i'll use this one is when i want just to just get everything out that i feel like is in there that i don't want in there if I feel like my skin needs to be scrubbed, I use the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. 
Um, it's a dermal resurfacer. So this is sort of like an exfoliator. You put it on and then you wet your fingers and you kind of massage it around and rinse it off. And when I use this, when I take it off, my skin feels so soft and it just, each one of these for me does what it says it's going to do. And I like it. Those are the small sizes. I've talked about in another video, so I won't get into that now. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to just call him Dennis. <laughs> I'll list everything below. This is the Pyrrolic and Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum. I take half a pump. And I did use this in, did I do this in another video? No, my AM video. So I use this at night and in the morning. And you also bring it up on your eyelids, which I like because I wanted something to see if it would help with all this extra skin and it's already tightening up um if you use more it doesn't tighten up so quick and this time is like the least i've used because it's already dry <laughs> i also purchased is it in here yes um his am i using this at night yeah i'm using the sos stress eye cream at night because you can also use this on your lids or was I doing it the opposite because I also purchased this pyrrolic plus retinol eye, eye cream this one you can only use underneath and up here and so I don't remember which one I use when but I'm going to use the SOS because I like that you can use it above I'm sorry not above but on your eyelids so I'm going to take this much and I'm going to tap that underneath and also on my lids you only need a little bit and if it's more on one side then you just go get it or go put it <laughs> and so very gently just rub that in very gently and I raise my eyebrows because if I don't I'm just going to be moving my skin <laughs> and so doing this allows me a smooth surface okay now that's dry so then I take Peter Thomas Roth Potency Power Serum. It has vitamin C in it, um, vitamin E, and ferulic acid. So I just put this everywhere. Well, not under, not directly under my eyes. The eyes are done for tonight. A little bit more because it's kind of dry under. Needed some more under my chin. I'm trying to see if I can diminish this. So we'll see in like a month or so. If that's still as prominent as it is and i do believe that that first eye serum i used i do believe it is lightening up under my eyes a little bit the next thing i will take is i got so much stuff in here i will <laughs> i will take <laughs> the peter thomas roth potency bright and plump moisturizer and this too has vitamin c vitamin e and folic acid and i only just take a little bit and i use this as a spot treatment for um, my blemishes, I have like so much stuff in here. And so where I, where I was not kind to my skin, meaning picking my pimples and this right here, I was shaving my mustache and I was a little too aggressive. So that's what these two marks are right here. And so this is, when I first purchased this, I did try it all over. And it works all over if I just use a tiny bit, like a really thin layer, because this stuff can get thick really quick and then it takes um, a long time to absorb and I didn't like that. Then I take the Olay Regenerous Retinol 24 Fragrant Free. Thank you very much for those of you who understand some people are sensitive to fragrance. <laughs> and so I put this all over. I'm trying to be quick because I don't want like another 30 minute video and I'm Pretty sure you guys don't either. And when I use the steamer, and I use the um, the Alpha Data Pill, it feels like everything else just goes on so smoothly and absorbs a little bit quicker. And it just feels nice. It does, and it's really, I'm not gonna say it's a spa experience because you're doing it yourself versus just laying there and letting somebody else you know, massage your skin and rubbing stuff in. Like, it's not the same thing doing it yourself. However, the steamer, you can kind of fool yourself because you just sit it and you're just sitting there and like, oh, this feels good. And then 10 minutes later, then you got to do all this stuff that I'm doing now. So it's really not 
a spa experience unless you have someone that's going to put all this product on your face for you afterward. The last thing I do is, <laughs> I feel like I'm turning into such a whore for this guy. Peter Thomas Raw <laughs> Firm Collagen Moisturizer. <laughs> I purchased this specifically for under my chin and that's the only place that I put it because I want to see like is this really going to work and so I think for the last well actually since I got it which was maybe <laughs> less than a week ago maybe four days ago I don't know I don't even want to lie to you I don't know when it was I got it but I've been using it um in the night and in the morning just under my chin the first night I used it I put too much I put it on like I put on the Olay Night Moisturizer, and when it dried down, when I would rub it, it would like ball up and peel off. Not all of it. So that's how I learned you only need a little bit of this. And it does absorb nicely. You need just a little bit. And so I do what I'm doing now. And sometimes I do this just because it feels good. <laughs> and even though I'm not going to bed, if I was... I would take my original chapstick. This one is black cherry, so it has a slight tint to it. But the the original one is clear. So if I was going to bed, I would take the clear one and put just a little bit on and go to bed. So that's my nighttime routine. If you guys have any questions, let me know. If you've used any of these products, if they work for you, let me know. If they didn't, let me know what happened and why they didn't. Um, but my experience with these products has have been good, which is why I keep using them. When I find something my, my skin likes and my face likes, I'm all for it because my skin is sensitive. One thing I have not tried yet, this came as a free um, gift with my Olay purchase. And this is the Olay Regenerous Micro Sculpting Super Essence Water Advanced Aging Prepare. Um... This is five fluid ounces. It's not even on their website. So I think they're promoting this and giving it out as a sample. I think my order was like $141. And so I think because of the cost of my order, um, they sent this free. And so I think they're trying to get a feel for it and get reviews in before they actually start selling on their website. And it says the directions after cleansing, gently shake three or four drops of essence into cupped palm, rub palms together and press into face and neck until absorbed, follow with treatment and moisturizer. I have not tried this yet because I'm still getting used to all of this stuff and I wanna see what all of this is gonna do before I add in an essence. I have never used an essence. The closest thing would be the Boshia or Boshia um, Sabaki Beauty Oil, but I am gonna eventually try this. I am an Olay whore too, so. <laughs> We will get to that, and it, it is a really nice size. Five ounces, this thing is really nice. Well, if it, if it works, it'll be really, really good. What well, works for my skin type and my skin issues. But thank you guys for watching, and let me know how you think my skin is looking. Are my under eyes as dark as they used to be? I'm not easily offended, since I'm asking, like, just be honest or don't comment. I mean, you don't have to comment if you don't want to, but are my under eyes looking less discolored as they used to? I know when I tilt my head, my bags pop out, but I feel like when I'm looking forward, they're not as prominent and I'm feeling like, or it looks to me like my double bag is not as baggy as it used to be. And I've been paying more attention since I've been using these products because I want to see if they're really working for what they say that they're supposed to do. So thank you. If you like this content, subscribe, um, click like, because that helps me know what you guys do like. Um, and click the notification bell. And I don't know why. You know what? I'm sleepy and I'm hungry. So I'm a little delirious. And so I'm going to go. But thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I'll see you. You'll see me in the next video. Bye.